In the past seven days, I have gained 15,000 followers on TikTok, and I'm going to show you how you can do that as well. Okay, well, what causes growth? And to be honest, I know exactly what caused the growth. It was me changing my video format specifically for TikTok, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can do this as well. And a little disclaimer, if you aren't a fan of TikTok, that's totally fine. I'm not forcing you to be on the app. I'm just trying to help people out here who are wanting to grow their following because there's certain things you can do that will actually excel your growth. TikTok is a bit of a unique format to videos that isn't like many other platforms. So there's two main things you have to do when starting a TikTok account. Number one is to pick a niche and number two is to teach people something. The two misconceptions about TikTok is that it's just for kids and it's a dancing app. Yes, TikTok used to be Musical.ly, but the reason they actually changed it to TikTok is because Musical.ly was just one niche. It was young kids dancing and they wanted to change that and that's why they created TikTok. So you'll be able to find every single type of account nowadays from food videos to DIY to home renovations. There's therapists on there. There's people teaching basically everything under the sun. So you need to decide what value can I bring to people? And even if nothing comes to mind right away, think of your job. Okay, are you maybe a teacher? Yes, traditionally, maybe that wouldn't have been something you could then do on social media, but with TikTok, you can teach people anything. So maybe you're teaching someone how to do simple math. If you're an elementary school teacher, you could literally take any skill you have or your job or whatever it is and make it into a niche account. So first things first, you're probably wondering how do I make a TikTok? Well, I'm gonna show you guys that right now and show you how simple it actually is. So something that makes a huge difference in TikTok videos and honestly videos overall, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, is having good lighting. A ring light like this bad boy right here is something I decided to invest in recently. And when I say invest, I mean like a $100 investment. It's really not much in the scheme of things, but it makes a world of a difference for videos. So I don't actually have a ton of light in my place. And so I could never actually film in here until I bought this bad boy. The difference a ring light makes is night and day. It's honestly such a good thing to buy if you wanna do any type of video. One thing that works really well on TikTok is multi-part series. This allows for people to find your video and then want to actually follow you so they can see part two, part three, Part 17, depending on how well it does, honestly just keep making parts to the video because that's how you actually gain a lot of followers on TikTok. So since my niche is travel-based, I wanna do everything to do with travel. So I had actually seen on TikTok, some guy do a video where he was talking about the cheapest Airbnbs around the world. So I had kind of a fun spin on that to do the craziest Airbnbs around the world, crazy luxury and all that. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use screenshots when I'm showing the luxury hotels or I might use a screen recording from my phone. So I have my camera set up and because I am going to be using text on the screen I want to leave a lot of areas for text one thing to remember though is that the sides and the bottom and the top get cut off a little bit by the text at the bottom with like your hashtags and anything you use there and then a bit at the top but basically I need the first part of the video where it's me standing there telling the viewer what they're about to watch so basically what I'll do is I'll stand in front of my wall like this I have lots of room that I can put different text and you want to point to the text. So this is one of a few formats you can do on TikTok. It's a very popular format, but basically you would just film yourself going like this. World's greatest Airbnbs, and then maybe I'll go like part one. Or you can do like either pointing, you can also go like this with your hands. I kind of do a mix of them. Okay, so that's literally it. Anyone can do it. This is what I mean. And then since that literally took like 10 seconds of your time, then what you can do is change into a different outfit or a shirt and keep on filming. We have another tie-dye sweater. So if you have music, voiceover, and text on the screen where people are reading, it's gonna capture people's attention and actually keep it on your video for longer, which will make it more favorable in the algorithm, which I will talk about later in the video. First up, we have this property located in Guatemala. So I've actually had a TikTok account since the summer and none of my videos ever did that well. So I used to just post like random videos. They weren't actually bringing any value. So for me, I really noticed my growth when I decided to cater my videos to the TikTok format and not just keep doing what I was doing before. One thing to remember with TikTok is you never want to delete your old videos because for me, for example, I had posted a how to pose in a bikini, which was actually taken from a vlog you guys might have seen on YouTube. I'll leave it linked below. But it was basically a vlog I had filmed in the Philippines. I had a bunch of B-roll from it. So I took that part out of my vlog, created a new file, which was the 1080 by 1920, put that in there, and then I took it to the app added voiceover, added some text in there as well to keep it visually interesting, posted it, nothing really happened. And then about a week later, the views started to pick up. 
and that video now was at over 300,000 views. So then I noticed obviously people liked seeing how to pose. So then I actually that next week posted a ton of videos on how to pose. I did how to pose for travel photos, how to pose for lifestyle photos, how to pose with sunglasses. Like I picked different things and while I was doing that, I was kind of mixing in other videos. So I decided to take my vlog footage. Obviously I have so much of <laughs> vlog footage from over the years from a ton of different countries. So I decided because Philippines often does really well is that I would start cutting down my Philippines videos. So I took some of the clips from my Sharga video. I pieced them together once again with no music or sound or anything. I just created a new project in my Final Cut Pro. I made it about 55 seconds long exported that, sent it to my phone, and then did all of the editing in the app. So I just added the voiceover over top and some words as well, as you guys are watching right here. So that video actually didn't pick up for about a week. And then I noticed the views started to get more and more. And that one also too is almost at 300,000. But in every single video, the common factor was that I was teaching someone something in the video. So they took away maybe how to pose in a photo. They took away where they can travel. I also gave it a bit of a trendy title, my um, travel videos. I did a 60 second travel show, which I thought was kind of a cool, fun name. So there's two different ways that I edit these TikToks. If I'm cutting down my old vlogs and I'm repurposing them for TikTok, I will just edit them in Final Cut Pro. Or if your content was shot using your phone like mine was today, I'm just gonna open up an app um, called Vlo. It's V-L-L-O. And this is actually a video editing app that I had seen in um, Sarah Dishi's video. She did a sponsorship with them. I downloaded the app because I was literally looking for a good video editing app on your phone. And no word of a lie, this app is exactly like Final Cut Pro. It makes it really easy to edit. This is not sponsored by the way. Okay, so I'm just selecting what video I want here. And as you can see, it gives me all of the options. So if you wanted to edit it for Instagram, YouTube, nine by 16 is the Instagram story or also the TikTok, the TikTok. See, I'm old, but I can also be on this app, that's fine. When you tap the clip, you'll see all the different things come up. Um, so you can go from the start from now split. Split is basically just like the blade tool, like on iMovie or Final Cut. Um, but because I don't want the rest of the clip, you can actually just do from now. So if I select from now, it's gonna then take everything and it basically just like snaps it in. I'm not quite done editing it yet. So since this video is going to be world's coolest Airbnbs, I now have to capture the images that is gonna be in the video. So basically I'm just gonna look at a bunch of different articles who have written about this, pick maybe three or four of my favorites since I do wanna keep the video probably like 15 to 30 seconds. So I've now pulled it over into the app and I think this is the most confusing part for people who are brand new to TikTok. You're like, I don't understand any of this. So I'm gonna write out everything and then set the duration of it. So I'm gonna click the little bubble thing. It creates this nice thing. I might put this in a color because I feel like that will look better. Um, I'm gonna adjust to the side. So. Okay, I adjusted it, made it a little bigger. So world's coolest. What sounds better, coolest or unique? World coolest. You'll want to click on it. When you click on it, it says edit, set duration. You wanna do this at the end once you wrote all your text. Otherwise, if you need to go edit it later, you have to wait till that video loops back around. Press set duration. And I know I want it to do when I point my finger at the top, it's gonna to say world. So you have to make sure that it's not too close to the top or too close to the sides because you do risk it being cut off. Then for this, I'm just gonna add a voiceover. Here are the world's coolest Airbnbs, episode one. Located in Mexico, just outside of Cancun, we have this beautiful shell house that you can stay in for $360 a night. The decor in here is so beachy and cute. And this man right here is just living his best life. So now you have the video, it's all ready to be posted. What comes next? So the algorithm on TikTok is quite interesting and it's very unique to TikTok. No other platforms are like this because basically someone who has a brand new account their video has the ability to go mega viral. And the reason for this is that regardless of your follower account, there's a thing called the For You page. This is speculated how the TikTok algorithm works, but I'm pretty sure it's right. And a lot of people have talked about this, so this is just what I've heard. Basically, there are three tiers that your content has to go through in order to reach that mega viral success. So when you post a video, it gets sent out to a test group of people. And depending on how long someone watches that video, if they share it with a friend, if they like it, if they comment, all those things are worth points. And the more points you get, the more likely your video is gonna be passed on to the second round of people. If in that second round of people, 
it gets even more comments, likes, shares, whatever. It gets passed on to the next one. And basically all that time it's accumulating views, comments, likes, and the more attention it gets, the more likely it's gonna be spread out and distributed to people's feeds. On TikTok, there's only two feeds. There's the following tab and the For You page. You ideally want to get on the For You page and you do that by creating engaging content, teaching someone something they didn't know before, or just like be entertaining. There's so many niches that you could literally do anything you want on the platform as long as it's interesting and entertaining for the viewer. So for the caption of the video, it really doesn't let you do that many words and you want to do as many hashtags as possible. And basically the key with the hashtags is how your video is more likely gonna get seen just like any other platform. The trick with this is you wanna make sure you're selecting hashtags that isn't in the millions of views and you can actually see it when you do hashtag, the word will come up that you're searching for and then next to it, it will actually show how many other videos are in that hashtag. So say if you're doing a video like me on travel, if you put hashtag travel, it's in the billions, like your video is never gonna get seen. But if you do hashtag travel the world daily, that might only have 10,000 views. So just like Instagram, it's good to do different hashtags that have a varying amount of views. So those are all of my tips and tricks for today. Definitely leave a comment down below if you guys are gonna be trying this out and what niche you're thinking about trying. And if you guys wanna go comment on one of my recent TikToks from your TikTok account, I'll follow a few of you, check out the videos, and of course like them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know if you want to see more of them. I can test out a whole bunch of different platforms, be the guinea pig for you guys, and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!